Hey, what's up, everyone? Eric Ross, the guy with the eye here. And I learned something really, really awesome today, something that just really kind of blew my mind. It's an epic Photoshop trick, and I think it's literally magic. Like, there's literally something in here that's just like, boom, and this thing happens. Um, it involves scaling an image, and why would you bring that up? Well, I'm going to cover that in a second. Let's get through the intro right about now. Really, really a great trick to have in your hand. Uh, if you're not aware of what uh, content aware is or, uh, or or content aware scale, it's something very, very crucial that saves a lot of editing time in regards to helping you, you know, heal some things, clone some things, you know, hide things out of an image or anything like that. But typically, when you're looking into scaling an image, you want to change something about it. So, for example, you know, I have this image here of this uh, couple. I'm going to unlock them. Alt option and I'm gonna unlock it. So I wanna change, you know, just just the size of things. But the issue is when I do that, I'm distorting, uh, you know, the people. And typically you say, okay, you can hold shift and do that, but you're still, like, see, look, like that keeps them in their, per, in their proper perspective, but it just doesn't look good and you're changing everything and you're changing the size of them. Well, what happens if you don't wanna do that? What if you wanna keep your subject uh, just the way that they are, but change the entire landscape, anything else differently to include more, to include less. And I'm going to show two major situations of how to do that using it, uh, a tool called the Content Aware Scale. We'll get into that in a second. But essentially what I'm going to do is, so, okay, so I'm not going to apply that image. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to mask out and create a selection and save a selection so that way Content Aware knows what to freeze, what to hold in place. And once again, it's very, very critical in regards to keeping the things you want in perfect, frozen, saved, selected, so that way everything else can change and you can get an image you might ultimately want. This could be amazing for compositing, you know, in, in regards to that. So let's do that, let's do that right now. So an easy way, I'm just gonna do a quick selection and I'm gonna use my bracket keys to control um, the size of the selection. Let's just, Boom, let's just go down. Okay, cool. And we can fine tune that in a second later. It's going to be difficult with a little bit of this stuff. But essentially, you know, I have, let's just include the feet here. We have the gown, we have them. That's all that matters. And I'm in a queue and it's going to show you what's been selective. That's awesome. Great. What I want to do though is I want to hold, I want to bring out the black, uh, the black layer here. I want to grab my erase brush right about here. And I'm going to go in. You can also control the size. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, it should be on the white. I, you, I'm going to go in here, uh, use the bracket, you can control the size. And I'm just going to kind of really, you know, put it in more, a little more neat, a little more secure. I don't really care about the plants per se, because it's right by them. You know, something like this is going to be totally fine. You won't notice much. As you see, you know, I'm just painting over this, getting rid of this. Don't mind that. Getting rid of some of that green. Um, I don't I guess I don't care if that changes a little bit, but essentially you see I refine the selection and now it's just simply on them. Now, the only way to do this is you can't just do it straight up here because uh, Photoshop wouldn't know what the heck you're doing. So the main thing you would want to do is save this as a selection and it's you know very easy to do. It works off of channels, something I didn't know about 100%, something I learned about. Uh, there's actually channels in here. Yes, they don't get like HBO or something like that. Essentially, what you want to do is open up your select tab and you want to hit save selection. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say couple. And that's going to add a new channel just to show you what that is. That's right here. Boom. That's that's This is it right here. And that's just showing you that's what that is. So I'm actually going to deselect this entire image. I'm going to make sure I'm on my selection. And one of the main things I'm going to do now is go to edit. And this is where we're going to do it. This is where we're going to refine things. So that way we can only, you know, change and scale exactly what we want through magic. So we're going to go through edit and content aware scale. So as you see, okay, great. So then, you know, like, okay, so some selected, well, wait a minute. They're not, you know, you know, they're looking bigger. They're looking, well, guess what? We didn't do anything right. Cause we have to go to protect and we're going to pick the channel that we chose, which is couple. And once again, what this is doing is that selection that we had, it's going to freeze them in place no matter what we do 
to this um, to this image in regards to scaling out the background to change it a little bit, maybe make it a little bit smaller, a little bit larger, however you want to do it. So for example, I might want to make this look really, really unique and random and make it a larger background. Maybe they're in a large forest, not just a little park. But you'll notice, I mean, if you go too insane, it's going to look insane. But as you can remember, you can always uh, go back to default using this right here. It reads everything around them pixel by pixel and brings it in. That's the amazing thing of content aware. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to, you know, what, maybe I want it a little bit wider. So as you see, like look over here, it's reading pixel by pixel of what you want it to do. You're like, okay, all right, well, let's just keep it like that. Well, how about if I just want things larger? As you see, the couple is not changing. I can literally do whatever I want, but as you can see around them, like look right here, nothing is changing here. It's only everything around them until obviously right there now it's going to start crushing them. You know, it's reading everything else before actually getting them. And once again, you can make that more dynamic if you want to change some things like, okay, maybe I wanted it, you know, this perspective a little bit more. Okay, fine. You know, there was the default image, something right around here. And I just wanted the forest to look more advanced, you know, something like that. You know, it just gives you a little bit more of an arsenal, a little bit more of a tool. Once again, you can always go back here and, you know, you could just make something a little bit different. Now, how about something more like this? Now, I'm going to have to go in a little bit. So let's just zoom in right here. Let's just get down to this guy. Let's make our quick selection. Now, how about if I want to make this a little smaller? So he actually, this, this gentleman didn't come out that bad right here, actually, you know, quick tool. You know what? I'm fine. Exactly. Um, with that. So let's just bring that back here. Okay, great. So what do we do? Once again, we want to save this select, save selection, and we'll call this bro. All right. So we have bro selected here. There's your channel. And I just want to do something, as I said, a little bit differently here. Maybe I want to make this a little more dynamic, maybe even more wider, even though I already have, you know, the certain crop going on. So let's go to 23% just to show you a little bit more of the screen. I'm going to go to image and canvas size. Once again, I was just showing you more perspective, but say you want more of a cinematic look, 16 by 9, uh, you know, just something a little more. Let's just go to 23, add a little bit of white bars in the end. You're like, okay, well, what's this going to do to the image? Once again, I only want to change the environment and not the person in the image. I like the fact that he's small. It looks like he's like a small guy in a you know huge abandoned land, which this area is. So once again, we're going to go here, select this. We're going to unlock this again. Alt Option, click that. You'll see the transform tools come up, and we're going to go up here. Yeah, uh, we're going to go to Edit, Content Aware Scale. Now once again, we just made this already. Uh, you know here. So if I did this again, uh, it's just really going to distort the image. You know, it's not going to look good and it's just not doing what it should. So let's just go back here. So essentially what I want to do is protect that guy and just read the information around him. So it's not distorting him, making him wider and going from there. So as you see, it's reading all the information around. And we're just going to add on to the end. And essentially, so say I just, so we'll apply that. So it applied that. Let's just make that a little bit smaller. Uh, make it a little bit smaller on the sides here. So essentially what we did is we even added a little bit more compared to what we had in the first place. So it's just another tool you can add to your arsenal. Um, it doesn't affect the person. It doesn't affect the selection. It only affects all this stuff around it, that cue, everything, whatever, around the image. It doesn't select the size. It's a really, really strong tool you can use. And I think it's something that uh, it can be a really, really beneficial thing for you to learn, for you to play with, find out. Um, you know, we've used this on things where I work and you've drug things out so much. It's insane of how it just keeps the quality uh, and the, the selection the way it should be. So let me know if you guys thought that this was cool. If this is something that you can use in your work. Once again, I think that this can work great, maybe in compositions or in just an image where you can composite 
and you wanted to change the perspective or the scale on something, but without changing or distorting your subject. It works really, really great with people. So big thank you for Jeff Greenberg for pointing this out to me and teaching this to me. Uh, this is a really, really awesome tool. So let me know what you guys want to hear about more or less in regards to, you know, that this kind of stuff, Photoshop tutorials or editing tutorials. This was really, really fun. So once again, this is called the content aware scale, something you should really, really learn. It's very, very simple to do and fast. Eric Ross of the Gap with the Eye, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more.